Hi everybody, it's Catherine. I am back today with another Spotlight on Stamping Plates series. Um, I made a massive MoYu haul in December. I showed you all the Christmas ones. These are the non-Christmas sale items that I also picked up in November, December time. So the first one here is Mother Nature. This is number 14. I wasn't, I, I think it was one of those ones I wasn't entirely sure if I had it, but it was so cheap that I was like, I'll just put it in the cart. If I have it, I can pop it in the giveaway pile. But you know, I'm a sucker for a stag and a tree and a fox, so it has everything on it. It's a beautiful, natural looking plate. I love the designs on the trees here. And yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful plate. So that's Mother Nature Collection number 14. Then I picked up another one of the Enchanted Collection. It seemed like there was an awful lot of Enchanted um, plates on sale. So if you're interested in this, keep an eye out on their site. We have the various animals here. This is the smaller uh, set, which I actually think is better, even for long nails. I think the smaller set is better, the vertical set. We have what looks like an otter up here then a bird it could be a pigeon um then we have what is that uh i'm not entirely sure what that is does anyone know what that is i'm not entirely sure um then we have a bird another bird here we have some sort of cat here i'm terrible aren't i i have no idea what's going on and uh, we have some sort of bovine creature we have a what looks like, oh gosh, a Lorax? No, not a Lorax. What are they called? Oryx? Oh gosh, I can't even remember. Anyway, uh, we've got a beaver, what looks to be some sort of eagle type creature. Gosh, I am terrible. Uh, raccoon, panda, I'm getting into the easier ones. Llama, then we've got geometric patterns and floral patterns down here. Phew! I really need to learn my animals. Anyway, that is in the Enchanted Collection 09. And yeah, I need to brush up on my animals, clearly. I got another Greek mythology plate. I am getting so much use out of these. And the only one that I really, really want is Zeus. And I they do not have it. They're sold out of it. Um, so I really need to get Zeus. I don't have all of them, but Zeus is one that I want. This is the Dionysus plate. And this is number five. And I just loved the image here with um, the eating of the grapes. The, just the designs all the way around. I absolutely adore these plates. They're very unusual. I use them a lot in kind of nerdy manicures and Game of Thrones manicures and all that kind of thing. And yeah, they're just a thing of beauty, really. So that is 05 from the Greek mythology plate. If anyone sees Zeus, let me know in the comments down below. Praise Zeus. All right, um, I picked up another Halloween plate because they were on sale and sure, why not? This was a new one this year, I believe, and this is number 61, so I'll be saving this one. And I picked it up because I really like having lots of text, and I loved the patterns down here. While they're not super unique in my collection, they are unique enough to warrant it, all right? So I'm giving myself an easy time here. Um, but I thought it was super cute. This is a ghoul, pow pow uh, ghoul power, nobody gets out alive. Uh, happy Halloween, boo. Then this cat with the pumpkin is super cute. We have death, we have a witch up here and hocus pocus and fabulous and hey beautiful and just perfect for Halloween. So that is, oh sorry, Halloween 61. That's festive collection 61 and that's their Halloween plate. Then we have a sailor plate. I don't know if I have any other sailor plates, um, but yeah, this might be my first one. And I really loved the, the little rubber duckies. I thought they were super cute. The only thing is, um, I, I, I didn't realize it at the time. I think I looked at it incorrectly. I thought you were gonna get the outline separately. Uh, like I, I wish they were all like this rather than this. That's gonna make it a little bit harder. Uh, to for detail wise so I guess that's why it was on sale but this is from the Sailor Collection it's number two and again uh, I bought this because I'm a massive Popeye fan I was when I was a kid and I love Popeye so there we go he's up there eating his spinach and doing weights and all that kind of thing so you have to have a bit of Popeye in, in your life you know love my spinach as well and uh, yeah just really like the tattoo kind of elements to this as well so that's number two from the Sailor Collection and I'll let you know how I get on with those rubber duckies. And then finally, I picked up another tourist one. And this is the New York plate. This is number six. I picked it up for one reason and one reason only. 
I love New York because it's where Ivan proposed to me. So it's completely sentimental. Um, but actually, since we're going to America anyway, I'm sure I'll get some use out of this uh, in the run up to America. Plus it had Broadway on it. You know, I'm a big theatre fan and all that kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know if I'll use the American football one, but um, I think I'll definitely be using some of the other ones here. And the skyline is just beautiful. So that is the New York plate from the tourist collection and it's number six. So that's it folks, a short and sweet spotlight on stamping plate series. Just to let you know on my nails is Irresistible. Oh, you can see it there, Irresistible from Revlon and Jules sent me this and it is topped with the beautiful diamond flaky hollow top coat from Fun Lacquer. So absolutely gorgeous. It is of course a nerdy Game of Thrones polish. All right guys, I will talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.